Would you still use a computer if you knew that it had a keylogger installed on it and was tracking everything that you typed? Or would you still have the same conversation if you knew somebody was listening to you? Well, Windows has this functionality and features built into it. And unfortunately, they're enabled by default. So unless you've had to look into the privacy settings on Windows 11, you're probably unaware. But we're gonna walk through and have a look at some of these settings. We're on Windows 11. If we right click the start menu, and then we head up to settings. This will bring the system setting menu up. Um, so within the system settings option, on the left hand side under categories, we have time and language. Now looking at the time and language, there's two options that you um, want to take a look at. One is typing, and then directly underneath it, we have speech. If we look at the typing settings, there's a few options in here that look like they're going to send data off somewhere. So show text suggestions when typing on a physical keyboard, multilingual text suggestions, autocorrect misspelled words, highlight misspelled words, and typing insights. Typing insights. This is the um, interesting one. If we go into typing insights, you can see by default, this is on. Windows is using artificial, artificial intelligence to help you type. So the paragraph underneath it says, to help you save time and type more efficiently, Windows can learn to suggest words, autocorrect spelling mistakes, and interpret swipe typing. Take a look at the insights below to see up to the minute stats on how Windows has learned to improve typing for you. These stats are only stored on this device and Microsoft does not collect typing insights data. Okay, so you don't want your Keystrokes being saved anywhere. Um, Auto-completed keywords, it will show you how many words it's auto-completed for you. Suggested words, keystrokes reduced, spelling corrections, and swiped words. So as I say, by default, this is on. Um, if you uh, get any type of concern for your privacy, you'll probably want to switch that off. And while we're in the um, system settings, if we go down to speech, which was also under time and language, um, you've obviously got the speech settings. Um, speech privacy. If we go into this, online speech recognition. Use your voice apps for using Microsoft's online speech recognition technology. If you turn off online speech recognition, you won't be able to use apps that use Microsoft online speech recognition technology. However, you still can use Windows Speech Recognition app and other speech services that don't use online services. So, um, yeah, you'll probably want to turn that off as well. And just while you're looking at the privacy and security settings, um, under general, so under Windows permissions here, under general, you should have these um, toned down anyway. But if somebody else has installed your computer system for you, then maybe these have not been changed but if we look at general we've got let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising id you can see i've got all these off let web let, let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list let windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches um <laughs> show me suggested content in the settings app um just make sure all these are off uh, again, the speech ones are related there, so we've looked at them already. The inking, inking and typing personalization. Customize inking and typing dictionary. You can just turn this off and clear it while you're at it. Um, so diagnostics and feedback. Um, just turn the optional diagnostics off. We've already addressed improving inking and typing, tailored experiences, turn it off. Um, view diagnostics data and delete it, which will clear anything that's stored on your device. Um, 
there's a few privacy and security settings within Windows that you should probably take a look at and just run through and be aware of what your device is storing about you and the information that you're being sent online, especially with AI technology being used all the time. I hope this video um, gives you some insight into some of the data that Windows collects about you, where it collects it and where it goes. Um, if you did find this video useful, please hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. You might find some other videos that you like. Um, and there's always that notifications icon to get notified of any videos. If you stick around, I'll leave a couple of links to a few more videos that you might find interested in. Um, I'm interested in whether you tone down Windows security settings, or not security settings, it's privacy settings. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about the privacy settings and the default settings within Windows. I'll see you in the next video.